What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today is Friday which means Zer is back and he's at the tower this time and we're on August 7th week 40, I don't know what week it is, 48 around and he's over here by the speaker so let's take a look at his inventory. So here we go, he finally brought the bones of Yao, everyone's really happy about this because a lot of people still don't have this so that's pretty exciting, but let's get into it. So for the Titan, we have the Eternal Warrior Helmet, Intellect Discipline, and the special perk is Provides Unstoppable for Fist of Havoc. It's a pretty average helmet in my opinion. Uh, there are better um, Titan exotics like Helmet Saint 14 or Armamentarium or Crest of Alpha Lupi that I would choose over this, but it's still a pretty good helmet since it has good stats and uh, the upgrade on it is not bad overall. For the Hunter, we have the Bones of Yao Leg Armor or Boots, Full Discipline, and it has Upgrades Double Jump with an Additional Jump. So this thing is really fun. I got this really early on when House of Wolves came out. I was really lucky in a Nightfall, and I ended up trying it out. It's super fun to use. It allows you to have Triple Jump on a Blade Dancer and Quadruple Jump on a Gunslinger. So it's pretty ridiculous. It gives you a lot more height and distance as well. And it's pretty useful in certain situations, um, but overall it's not really useful all the time, but it's pretty fun in general. I'd recommend picking it up if you don't have one. For the Warlock, we have the Void Fang Vestments with Strength, Enhanced Axion Bolt Spawn with Grenade Energy, and a Camera Ammo for Hand Cannon and Special Weapons. Uh, this one is really good for Crucible because you spawn with Grenade Energy. Um, even if you're a Sun Singer, it's really good. Because it allows you to spawn with those firebolt grenades which are really powerful in crucible or trials or anything PvP related. So I'd recommend picking this up if you don't have them yet. And then for the weapon of the week we have the last word. A really good gun. One of the best weapons in PvP right now until the new patch comes out before taking king. Uh, one of the best guns in the game overall. And it has bonus damage and stability extra precision when firing from the hip and this weapon has bonus accuracy of firing from the hip really good gun overall like I said you guys probably know this already though um, but if you're new pick it up because it's still really good even after it gets patched um, exotics are still gonna be useful so maybe this gun could still see play somewhere in the game and then we have the chess piece engram as the engram so if you want to gamble for something that you're missing uh, you can go ahead and do so since exotics will move along with us into the Taking King. You don't need to worry about that. Only legendaries will stay at their stats that they are now um, after you ascend them. So exotics you can still try to get. You can still try to collect all of them in the game. So that's about it for this week, Zer. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.